What is going on folks? This is Antoine with Core Cutter Lifestyle and Tech and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to do the most simplest, easiest screen mirroring setup. Now the reason I decided to do this video is because a, a individual on a core cutter, core cutting um, Facebook page, he asked a question. He said him and his family they use the Google Chromecast at home and they was going to take a trip, I think, to a lake house or just camping. He said, uh, will the Chromecast work without an Internet connection in this lake house or, or on a camping trip? So I went ahead and answered the question, but there are tons of ways, obviously, that you can do a screen mirroring. But there are very few ways you can do it without having an Internet connection. So... What I'm going to do here today is just tell you guys the, the best device to do it on. I've, I, I got a bunch of videos, a bunch of older videos when I first started my channel. I was doing um, screen mirroring. You know, I was researched every different way. I tried it with the Chromecast, the uh, Roku, and the Fire Stick, and even the Android TV box. But an Android TV box can also be done without an internet connection. Um... But today we're gonna. But the easiest way is, you know, hands down, is going to be the Fire Stick. So, as you can see right here, looking at the screen, my Fire Stick is disconnected from my home router. I disconnected it, so we're not getting an internet connection. And then also on my cell phone, I am, I have the Wi-Fi off. In fact, I unplugged the router completely. I unplugged my router, so. It's not going to be any router to pick up. So what you're going to need to do is, and this is the easiest way, folks, go go on your Fire Stick, go to Display and Sounds, go to Enable Display Mirroring. So what the Fire Stick does is it creates its own network. So from there, what you're going to do is, depending on what type of cell phone you have, now I have a very cheap cell phone. It's a Metro PCS phone, not it's not cheap because it's from Metro PS. PCS is cheap because I got it for free just by switching over to them. And the battery life is horrible. But um, what I have to do on my device is just find the uh, smart cache. Your phone might be different. Yours might say um, screen mirror or smart cache or screen cache, something like that. But in my phone, I have to go to the display options. And then I have to go down to cast right so once we turn the cast on you see the cast is on once cast is on as you can see my my wi-fi on my phone has turned on but it's not connected to anything it just uses that to communicate with whatever device that's sending out a similar signal if you if that makes sense so if the fire stick is sending out a wi-fi signal or uh, a host signal then by my phone creating like a a, a a signal that can attach to the host is you know it's just it's just it's hard to explain but it makes sense in the long run so what you're gonna do like you see mine says that that's my fire stick so did I hit the right one okay so as you see it says connecting so we connect it now I unplug my router as you can see we are not connected to any router and then matter of fact we can use the TV since my screen is on a TV matter of fact let's see so if you look at the top of my phone we can see that my 4G LTE is still operating normally when your phone connects to the Wi-Fi that icon goes away so we're working on 4G LTE or my phone's data so from here Ooh, wee, that's blurry. All right, let's exit out of that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a YouTube video. And I'll press play, and you're going to see my my data. My data bar should start moving. But, you know, we are connected to the you know the easiest way to screen here so when I turn my phone the image on the TV also turns as well that so 
this is perfect this is the easiest way you don't even have to worry about a router um the fire stick is awesome in the sense that it does a lot of stuff for such a small device you know it has bluetooth it has uh it creates its own network it has internal memory you know you can install Kodi apps if you're into that you know you can, they got the fire stick hat so hacks so i mean amazon is just all around a great device but the roku is uh in my opinion is one of the best core cutter devices because in sense in the sense that um if you're paying for content the roku can put everything in one place and they also have more streaming platforms on the roku so yeah and also like if you have any pictures you want to share with if you out 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 in um out at a lake house or you know out of any rural area where you don't get signal you know download you some movies you go home and just watch them from your uh, from your cell phone so ladies and gentlemen that is it uh, let me know what you think about the video or if you have any questions about cord cutting let us know because i try to com create a community effect around here so if you have any questions i'll try to get back to you or somebody else will hit you up in the comment section and also remember to, su su to subscribe to the channel for more cord cutting content and i will check you guys out next time